God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So it's that prayer of how do we, how do we have that? How do we have the serenity to accept that which we can't change? Well, first of all, there's very few things we can't change. What I mean by that is, we may not be able to change the fact that it's raining outside. But the rain is not the problem. The problem is my reaction to the rain. The rain is just rain. There's no universal good or bad that somehow God likes it dry and doesn't like it wet or likes it wet, doesn't like it dry. Likes the daytime, doesn't like the nighttime. Likes the summer, doesn't like the winter. The problem comes with me who says, oh, another rainy day, right? So to me, the problem is the rain, but the rain isn't really the problem. It's my reaction to the rain. So in the same way, in our relationships, you cannot change another person unless, of course, they want to change. But the problem is usually not actually what the person is saying or doing, but my reaction to it, my attachment to the fact that they should be saying or doing something different. And that I do have control over. And what you find that's really interesting is when I literally just change myself, actually everything changes. If you and I, if you grabbed the other end of this mic cord mm -hmm. and I pulled this way and you pulled that way, there would be a lot of literal and physical tension in the wire, right? I'm pulling here, you're pulling there. We've got this tug of war going on. And I may stand over here screaming at you, let go, let go, let go. And you're not letting go. And so I've got tension. And I say, My pro the problem is she is pulling the rope. That's why there's tension in the rope. If she would let go, there wouldn't be tension, and then I would be in peace. You pulling the rope is my problem. Well, I can't make you let go of the rope, but if I let go of the rope, automatically, 100% of the tension is gone. Not just 50%. It's not like I do my 50%, you do your 50%. It only requires one person to let go of their end and 100% of the tension is gone. And so in our lives, when there is a problem, it's really important to look and to say, okay, first of all, can I change it? If I can't change it with my words or my action, can I change it internally? Can I change it energetically? Can I shift it energetically? And can I let go of my end of the problem, which is, I think there's a problem over there. The rain is my problem. The winter is my problem. You pulling on the cord is my problem. No, you're just pulling. The rain is just happening. The winter is just happening. This guy's jumping up and down. This guy's doing this. She's doing this. This is happening over here. It's how I interpret those things that creates the problem for me. And so it's not so much a matter of I have to accept everything. It's a matter of me realizing that the problems I face are due to how I move through the world. You could walk into this room and say, oh, so beautiful. My God, this is amazing. We've got people of every color of skin, of every height, of every culture. Everybody's together. We're here in this, this beautiful satsang. Banks of Ganga. It's perfect. Somebody else could walk into the room and say, 
my God, there's a, you know, chip here in the ceiling, and why didn't they pa paint that? And Or here, you know, it's not really there. They actually did paint it, but we'll pretend it's there. But, it, you know, somebody else could say, well, why is this here? That, that thing hasn't been fixed. What about this? What about that? Why don't we have plush wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? It's not about the room. It's about how I'm interacting with the room. There's always things, always things in the people around us, in the world around us, that could be improved. If you were given a job, even with somebody you've never met before, if I paired you up with somebody you've never met, and I said, you've got two minutes. Give this person all the things you think they should do differently that would fix them. We could think of it. Our minds are great. We're great at picking up shortcomings. Well, you should really brush your hair the other way. Well, you know, you should tuck in your shirt that way. Well, you know, your posture's a mess. Well, you know, you smell bad. Well, we could do that. There's always the possibility for that. But the choice in my life becomes, do I want to look at the world through those eyes? Or do I want to look at the world through the eyes of love, through the eyes of what's beautiful? Because if I did the exact same experiment, I paired you up with somebody you don't know, and I said, spend two minutes finding all of the things that are perfect about them. You could do that also, just as easily. It's all a matter of focus. And so the acceptance comes with recognizing. It's my choice. Which way do I want to see it? And how can I, and this is, this is meditation, this is yoga, this is spirituality, this is life. How do I interact with the world in a way that keeps me at peace? that keeps me happy, me joyful, and the world around me joyful. Because of course, if you spend two minutes telling the person everything that's right about them, chances are you're gonna walk out with a new friend, whereas if you spend two minutes telling the person everything that's wrong with them, chances are you're not. So how do I wanna move through the world? And that's, that's the choice that we all have. And that it has to be a minute-to-minute, moment-to-moment choice in this minute. I could hate what's happening. I could be frustrated with what's happening. I could be annoyed with what's happening. I could not accept it. Or I can change my way of responding to it. And the only last piece about that, since your question was general, is if it's not about a person, and it's about things that we were talking about earlier in terms of global issues. Well, these are things, of course, as I was saying before, that require us to act because through what you do, you do have the ability to change. You do have the ability to change the world. What you don't have the ability to do is to change the people you live with. As ironic and paradoxical as that may sound, we do have the ability to bring about change in a beautiful way in the world. But if I go home and think that what I'm going to do is change my husband or change my mother-in-law or change my colleagues or change my boss or change my employees, you're not. The only way you can change them, interestingly, is by changing yourself, by letting go of your end of the cord so that the tension automatically dissipates.